hello everyone in this video we are going to make pixel dissolve effect with geometry nodes and it is pretty easy so let's start so let's first add the plane and i'm going to name this as dissolve setup let's add the geometry nodes modifier then we need a object to dissolve and we're going to use this monkey let's add a few number of subdivisions so we have this so let's uh, view this let me do another thing is that let's add shade smooth to this monkey first we're going to uh, dissolve the mesh based on a, a fall off so let's add the a sphere empty here let's add the fall off node so i have uh, made a uh, a preset uh, for the follow-ups and you can download these preset from my uh, patron page so i'll show you what is what is inside this node it is basically based on the distance from the points to this empty uh, to the object so let's select on this empty here and let's add the delete geometry node and then add the greater than node here let's plug into this selection and this parameter may be 0.4 okay so we can see that let me enable the cavity here so mesh is basically eaten by this on uh, this uh, empty so now we have this and then we're going to scatter the points around this cutoff okay so let's add the distribute points node distribute point on the faces let's uh, join them together so we have these points but it's uh, but it is all over on uh, the mesh so let's fix this let's duplicate this and duplicate this again change this to less than and let's add the and node so because we want to distribute point only near to this cutoff means some of the points here and some of the points here okay where the mesh is already uh, cut by this empty add this to a selection uh, let's change this to a 0.15 so we have the points on the mesh and this basically control the points in the cut region okay let's change this to 4 0.4 and we can this we can decrease this is 0.35 okay so now if i increase the number of points you can see that we can cover this cut with uh, these points so we have something like this so now we're going to scatter uh, object uh, on these uh, points so let's add the instance on the points and for the instance object i'm going to use slenders okay so why is slender because let me change this to scale one so we can uh, create any shape uh, with this slender node means triangles cubes pentagons uh, hexagons uh, hexagons and mesh with the higher vertices okay let's stick with cubes and and then align these cubes uh, with the normals of the point or the mesh so let's add the align node here this and connect this to the normal so here we can switch uh, these between two transition means not aligned or aligned uh, with the normals and then another thing is we can uh, change the scale of these points based on this falloff 
let's add the map range node if i directly plug into this let me change the scale to 1.5 so we have this here you can also do another thing is math multiply then multiply this with the random value okay not zero maybe point one five even point two eight so here you can randomize the scale if you need uh, or you can directly use this okay so here uh, we are not going to use this random option we are going to use uh, the poison option here poison disk okay so means if i increase the density we can see that these cubes are overlapping okay so to decrease this overlapping we're going to use on um, this poison disk option change this minimum distance is around 0 0.05 meters and density is around 5000 okay so that it basically fill uh, the this surface so we have this and i think we have to slightly increase the scale yeah so now we are basically covering this uh this edge so we have this and another fact we can add on top of these cubes is a uh, boundary to these edges okay so add the line to these edges so that they uh, appear as a like a pixel a big pixels okay change this mesh to a curve uh, then on this curve to mesh here and then also add this circle like this into this we have these lines and let me decrease the resolution to 5 and radius is around 0 0.015 so if i disconnect this we have these uh, skeleton of uh, the pixels then we have these pixels okay so this is the basic uh, setup for the geometry nodes now let's add the material to these uh, pixels and the mesh okay let's me first add the hdr image and i'm going to use this uh, from the hdr heaven uh, website so we have this so first material is base for the base mesh and then we have the second material which is a glass and then we have this third one which is for the lines okay let's first apply the materials we have set material node add the base then for the pixels add the glass and for the lines we're going to use these uh, line lines material okay so we have this and let's first adjust the base okay base material so let's decrease uh, the roughness and color to something a gray color for this and also enable the screen space option here okay then go to the glass and for the glass first we're going to decrease the roughness and then enable this transmission to one okay let's first orient this camera so that we can see the reflection from these glass material of the pixels yeah here we can see this so in the settings change this to alpha blend and uncheck this 
show backward faces enable the screen space okay and in the render setting increase the trace emission to one and also enable these refractions okay so but with the refractions we have this weird refractions from these uh, lines that we can uh, fix this by enabling this screen space options okay so now we have this and let's also enable this bloom and increase this to four because we want this bloom only from these lines okay so now for the glass material on top of that i'm going to add uh, the trans uh, transparent to these uh, glass let's add the transparent nodes so this is before and this is after and here uh, you can basically change the color so let's pick something cyan type color for these pixels okay and for the lines let's delete this and add the mission node okay and another thing is in the color management uh, change this to filmic and this change this to uh, high contrast or very high contrast so we have this and let me let's also add a uh, depth of field for this uh, go to this camera and enable this depth of field and select this empty and let's decrease this f stop and you can also adjust uh, the color for different mode means let's change this to a purple And you can download uh, the project files and dissolve preset uh, from my patron page and if you like this work then please do support me and subscribe to my channel for more updates until next time happy noting bye